Hey guys, so before I get into this video, I just want to let you guys know that I actually made a poll on my website. The link's going to be down below, and it's going to be on the screen right now. I hope you guys do go and uh, check it out and vote and see what your thoughts are. And uh, yeah, here's the video. Hey guys, how's it going? It is Charlie here, and today I was actually going to upload a CSGO video, you know, funny moments, blah, 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 but I actually just got done playing a game of a competitive, and me and these guys were talking about how this game, you know, it's so broken and blah de blah de blah you know, the list can go on of what's going on, you know, like, hit registration, it's not a thing, you know, the list can just go on and on and on, but it got me thinking, as long as we keep on playing this game, even if we make petitions, like, you know, like, you guys know, Nick Bunyan made a petition, you know, to Valve, and it has, like, over 250,000 uh, signatures, I believe. I haven't checked it, so I have no clue, but, but the fact of the matter is, and it is a sad thing to say this, because the fact that devs don't really care anymore about the game and their fans, and they care more about making money is really sad. As long as we keep on playing this game... And as long as, even though we're making petitions and whatnot, as long as we keep on playing this game, we're pretty much showing them that we're still going to play this game because why not, you know? I wonder what would happen if for one day, no one even touched or even like logged into the game. I wonder what would happen if we didn't play a single match of anything. No deathmatch, no demolition, no arm trace, no competitive, nothing. I wonder what, what type of message we would send to the developers as us gamers by saying, hey, you guys aren't listening to us. We've asked you guys a million times, you know, to address these issues, but you guys haven't, so we're gonna stop playing the game. And it got me to thinking, what if like all of us, we kind of just united and we stopped playing the game for one day? I wonder what would happen. I hope I get to see that one day. Imagine if every single person that was fed up with all of this crap in Valve and we're not getting any fixes, you know, we're getting new cases. Ooh, wonderful, man. Yo, we got a new case, holy shit. Nice. But imagine if every single one of us, we kind of united, big or small, you know, I'm, t I'm talking about players, I'm talking about YouTubers, because obviously I'm not, I'm not huge by any means. I have like, what, 280 subscribers? I'm not big, no. What if like all of the big YouTubers kind of united, got their fans on board, got everyone to stop playing a game for one entire day? What would happen? Would Valve, would they finally actually listen to us and you know address this issue i'm sick of it guys i really am and i love csgo don't get me wrong and it's, a, it's to me anyways you know i i you guys used to know i used to play a lot of console and i used to play um a lot of like ghosts and competitive and advanced warfare and all that stuff and i stopped because the fact that those games are just utter crap to me now to play competitive and again i suck at the game i get that but there's just so many things in the game that drove me away from playing competitive on those games anymore so now i'm pretty much migrated to just being full-time pc you know i'll hop on and play zombies once in a while and whatnot but i pretty much migrated from being a console gamer to a pc gamer you know i've just kind of just stuck with uh playing csgo because to me it's the only game that don't get me wrong it's broken but it's the less broken game where you can actually play competitive and it can be competitive if that makes any sense. I've been hearing a lot from Overwatch where the competitive side of Overwatch is garbage. I don't know, maybe it's not true. I don't I don't play Overwatch. I personally thought that that game was not for me. The fact that there isn't another game that kind of competes with CSGO. I guess what I'm trying to say is that if we all stop playing the game for one day, what if Valve actually did something about it? But it's not going to happen because we keep on playing the game. And to them, all these petitions and all these, you know, cries for help or for fixing stuff, they're pretty much useless because we keep on making the petitions. We keep on asking them to fix these things, but they keep on seeing, hey, these guys are complaining, but they keep on playing the game. You know, they must just be, you know, bitching about something. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe they're actually fixing it. I don't know. But it's from what I've seen... This game, especially the servers, they're garbage. And I'm not, I'm not just talking about like 128 tick servers. No, I'm, I'm just talking like the basic me connecting to a server where I used to get like 30, 40 ping. I'm now getting at least 60 or 70. And this has only happened in the past three weeks. This has only started happening. And, you know, through all the petitions and whatnot, nothing has changed. It came out with a new case, though. That, I, that's cool, I guess. Props to you. Not really, no. It pisses me off because you would think we spend so much goddamn money opening cases. Whether you're a YouTuber, whether you uh, you know you open case on your free time because you you know you want that shiny new knife or whatever. We spend so much money on cases and on other stuff in the game that you would think of all the money that they've made from cases, 
that they would be able to at least invest in better servers for us players so that they can actually, I guess, keep us playing the game so we can open more cases. Because I'll tell you what right now, I have like five or six cases sitting in my inventory that I was going to open, but I, I thought, why spend the five, the five, ten, fifteen dollars on it? It's just the fact that Valve isn't doing anything about it, yet they keep on pushing out new cases to milk money from us. It's pretty much sending out a message to us, and it may be just me, I'm not sure, but it's pretty much sending a message that they don't give a shit. They're going to keep on coming up with ways to make more money. And three, they're not going to care about their fans and, you know, address these issues that have already been laid out. So, yeah, that's my little rant. I know I don't do this. I kind of feel a little reluctant to actually posting this because I hate doing this type of stuff. I'd much rather, you know, post a video of me, you know, screwing out with friends or like an awesome game I had in CSGO. But unfortunately, for the past week, week and a half or so, that hasn't happened because... These problems are just getting worse and worse. Like one of my friends gets onto you know a given server and it's not his internet because he can hop on Arma 3 or he can hop on whatever other game and get awesome ping. It's just he gets on a CSGO, connects to a server, boom, 100 ping. You know, and it's happened to me too as well where the servers sometimes spike me to three, 400 ping all of a sudden when I'm trying to kill a guy and I swear all my bullets are on him, but no, you lagged. Servers are garbage. He died. And I'm really getting sick of it because I love this game and I, I wish the developers would do something about it. You know, they would actually listen to us and they would actually push out updates to address, the, you know, even if it was just one update that addresses one of the issues, you know, it doesn't have to be all the issues in one entire update. But when you're pushing out an update just to add in a new case, what you're telling me, and it's just, this is just my opinion, what you're telling me is that you don't care about your fans. You could care less about what we're saying. All you want right now is to make money. You don't care about how the game is. You don't care about how the servers are doing. You don't care about what people are saying because guess what? If it wasn't for us gamers playing your game, you guys wouldn't make money. So maybe this is just me, but if you guys actually took care of us, you know? And I'm not asking for everything. I'm not asking for the world, you know. I'm just asking for you to address these issues, you know. Come up with a patch that, you know, tries and fixes them, you know, show us that you're at least trying to fix these issues. Don't push out another case. Because then you're just showing us that you, all you care is about money. That's my rant, guys. I, I don't want to post this because I, I almost feel fucking bad posting this because I, I, I just want to post videos for you guys that are good. But when I'm not getting good p gameplay, I'm not just going to push out a shit video about me losing, you know, 5 to 15, even though I dropped 30 kills. But guys, I hope you guys do understand where I'm coming from with this. I hope that the entire CSGO community can actually unite. And instead of just complaining about the problems that are happening, actually stopping, stop playing the game, that might do something. And maybe someone already thought of this, who knows, but that's just my idea. You know, if we stop playing this game, they're not going to have players to make money out of. Even if it is for just one day, we're pretty much saying, hey, we're sick of your shit. We want change. If by some miracle, you know, one of the Valve members actually sees this video, please. Do something about it. Stop pushing out cases, because now all you're just telling us is, hey, we care more about money than we care about our players. That's all. That's my rant, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed and understand where I'm coming from. And as always, it's been Charlos or Charlie. I'll see you guys later. Peace.